Hello everyone, and welcome to my video on where I talk about effective health and the difference um, in effectiveness between buying HP and buying MR to maximize your tankiness against um, against magic damage. So I'm Melon. I'm a Diamond One uh, Zyra One Trick Pony, and I do a lot of theory crafting. I recently made a video <laughs> where I incorrectly talk about magic penetration. And a lot of people brought that up. They said, hey, you should look at effective health. So I, I looked at some resources. I found some information about effective health. And I realized something that was kind of interesting um, to talk about the difference between when you should buy HP and when you should buy MR. Because it wasn't really talked about in any of the resources I looked up. So I did a little calculus and, and found things out. Uh, if you want to look at the text version that's attached to below, uh, if you want to look at... Um, any of the spreadsheets they're also attached below or I have them right here in front of me that I'm going to be referencing as we go through this okay so basically you know we'll start with the question of all right what do we have uh, we're looking at burst damage we're looking at purely magic damage and we're going to look at the difference between MR and HP in terms of effective health so you know here's the formula for MR you know how it reduces our damage um, damage taken rather and we all know what health does so then we introduce this new term called effective health which is basically just how much raw magic damage you can take before you die and again it's a lot of algebra to get it but here's the formula okay and then you can see uh, over here some different um, some different quantities of HP and MR and how much effective health that gives you but you can think about it like this right if you take 50% reduced damage and you have 100 HP and you have 200 effective health and stuff like that, okay? So we want to maximize this effective health, right? And and we're going to maximize it with HP and MR. Obviously, increasing HP is, and MR are both going to increase your effective health. But the, the key component is which is going to increase it faster depending on how much health and MR you have. So this is a, uh, a two-variable function, so we have to look at partial derivatives. I'm going to save you all the calculus. The details are, are kind of in here roughly if you're curious. Um, but the short answer is that if you look at like one point of HP is almost always going to be better than one point of MR. Wait, one point of MR is almost always going to be better than one point of HP unless you have a, like a ridiculous... A ridiculous amount of uh, MR which is never gonna happen because MR is so much more expensive than health so what we did is I, I re-looked at these at these derivatives re-looked at how how good a single point of HP is how good a single point of MR is uh, factoring in the gold cost so uh, using these uh, where do I write it right here um, the gold value of one point of health and the gold value of one point of MR which is found um, and used a lot online for calculating gold efficiency of different items. Okay, uh, and they're 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 pretty accurate. Although at the end of the yeah yeah, we will just say they're pretty accurate. Okay, then we do we we compensate for that, set them equal to each other. And again, you don't really care about the you don't care about the calculus probably, but it's in here if you want. The idea is we get this formula for when we should have or how much MR we should have depending on how much health we have. And, Right, it's vice versa as well. You could solve for the other variable. So the more interesting thing is what that actually looks like in a table. So let's leave this aside for a while and go to the table. So this says that assuming there's like no shields, assuming this is pure burst damage situation, so we're, you know, we're rationalizing away a bunch of factors that if you have this amount of health, you should have this amount of MR, of course. And we have some negative values from the formula, but basically that means that if you have 500 health, you should not be building MR. If you have 500 health and you want to survive a LeBlanc jumping on you, you need to, you need to get that health up as fast as you can, okay? And then maybe once you have 1,000 health, you might start wanting to, all right, so when you have 1,000 health, you're going to want 48 MR. About when you have 1,100, you're going to want 62, and, and, by, and, and just so on, so on. So this is this is a table that if you're looking at a pure burst damage situation without shields or anything, you know how much MR you want to uh, have the most effective health. So this can come into play for a lot of times. Again, me I'm a Zyra main, so if I am in a really hard AP matchup, I'm going to want to come up with um, or AD matchup, right? All of these you can replace MR by armor here if it's in a pure AD matchup as well. And if it's mixed damage, you want even more health. Anyway, uh, so 
yeah, this, this is going to uh, impact in different situations. If I am a Zyra into a LeBlanc and I'm feeding, or late game if I'm a Dr. Well, not Dr. Mundo because health impacts him in different ways. But, you know, if I'm a big tank uh, and I want to survive late game as well. Okay, so, you know, you can look at these values. Again, they're also attached in the, in the spreadsheet. And then you, the more interesting thing is maybe when we start talking about, okay, what happens if we factor in other results? So I briefly mentioned, you know, physical damage. If we have mixed damage, then that help, favors health more. And you can do the do some pretty simple calculations to find that out. But uh, what what happens if you have shields? Well, of course, if you have shields, then then this shield gives you like some extra health, basically. And so it's going to make your resistances more important. So if you're looking at, say, you have a 200 health shield and you're only getting it off once in an all-in combo, you know, then you basically all you have to do to find your calculations is bump up your bump up your health by 200 and look at the corresponding MR for that. Okay, so you can do these calculations very easily in your head by, by just kind of figuring out how many how many shields are you going to have. And then of course, uh, if you're looking at surviving a lane, uh, like a laning phase or something, then you want to start factoring in health regeneration and potions. So just assuming here we have a corrupting potion, then you know we're going to be able to add 375 to this base HP and find the corresponding MR value, okay? Uh, health regeneration is is fairly small for a lot of champions unless you're in lane for a longer time or you have a red buff or i don't know you're like a heimerdinger or something or you have like an aegis uh so that's kind of kind of neg negligible for now but obviously you can see you know the more the more external circumstances the more mr is is helpful but just in a pure like burst damage situation it's actually a, a lot less helpful than you might think all right, so um, that's kind of it for this video. It's it's mostly supposed to be just like a quick video to kind of recap and fix my last video where I talk about magic penetration and magic reduction. So you know, MR is 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 as useful in increasing your effective health no matter how much MR you have. There's no diminishing returns on MRs for effective health. Um, and then health, you know, is also great. Um, it also scales the same way as MR does. There's no diminishing returns on your stacking health. The key thing is that you balance your health stacking with your MR stacking to maximize your tankiness. I think that's about it. So uh, let me know if you have any questions below, uh, or you can ask me on Twitch. I stream quite frequently on Twitter. I check it all, all the time. Or uh, yeah, or in the comment section below the YouTube video. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.